Kit Kat. <laughs> cool. um, let me take that spray bottle away from you as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my mum, when she was pregnant Thanks. with me, she had cravings for Kit Kat and Marmite. Oh, yeah. What, yeah. together? I don't know. I never got around to asking it. <laughs> Hopefully not, because that's just disgusting. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't like Marmite. <laughs> I, I do, but not, not with chocolate. <laughs> Welcome to the Metaphorecast and... Speak easy with Haroon. Conversations with artists, creatives and troublemakers. And we'll be finding out which one of those you are. Or if you're, <laughs> or if you're all of the above. Uh, maybe. I think I am. <laughs> um, so, again, um, this is the finale. Sarah doesn't know, but I wanted to end my season one with Sarah Callahan. Mm. Um, I have no names. idea which season of my show this will land on, but <laughs> we'll know then. Um, and yeah, I mean, I hopefully can, I, I hopefully feel like we can, f I don't think we can fit everything that you've done in this podcast. Um, and hopefully like, you know, in a few years we can do a part two or a few months, depending on your schedule. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to just have you on because, um, your trajectory, not just in poetry, but just outside of it, you're a multifaceted, um, artist. Um, I just think that's inspirational for people that want to just kind of, you know, do their own thing. Um, that don't fit in boxes necessarily mm. and you're a great example of that um so yeah we've got um the great sarah callahan comedy genius uh <laughs> poet extraordinaire um, i'm running out of adjectives actually drummer <laughs> drummer yeah drummer. oh yeah i heard you as a drummer musician well. actor voiceover author cool. i mean how, how would you describe yourself actually like in terms of what you do and or just you in general like um i would just say like a creative mm -hmm. um yeah, I try and just learn as many things as I can and I just try and have fun with it. And then if I can make money through it, then sick, you know. Um, anything just to not get a proper job. That's <laughs> <I> <laughs> all I'm trying that. to do. <laughs> I, I think all three of us are united by that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I hate the typical nine to five. I just... Yeah, it uh, ain't yeah. for me, man. So, um, yeah. So what is what is Sarah Callahan like, before pandemic? What, what, was, what was you up to at that time? Like, 2019, 2018... Maybe um, even before that. Like. Pretty much what I'm doing now. I was just gigging a lot. I was doing all the clubs. Um, this is in comedy? Yeah, in comedy. Okay. So, yeah, I was travelling all over the country, all over the world, just doing shows. And every year I would go to Edinburgh. So my sort of schedule would be like working towards the Edinburgh Fringe. So I'd work on my hour show mm. um, leading up to that. And then festival season, June and July. So I'd do all the festivals. And then... Um, yeah, and then and then I was mixing in poetry of that as well, and go, trying to go to s some open mics. I was, was featuring it pretty much every <laughs> poetry uh, gig around London, and yeah. it was yeah, it was great. I was meeting new people, and um, yeah, I was just I was just gigging a lot and trying to trying to heal because I just come out of some mad relationship as well. So I was kind of doing that parallel. I, I remember that we had, yeah. we had we chatted about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but that in a way um, fed into a lot of the art which okay. was some good inspiration, man. Um, and it humbled me a lot, <laughs> which I can laugh about it now. Um, yeah, yeah, but I heard the poems. So. Yeah, at the time it was crazy, but I think it was it was really nice, especially within poetry, because I was able to connect with a lot of people and, um, you know, it helped me and it helped others to not feel so alone, innit? So, yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing, just yeah. hustling, I guess. I mean, because like, uh, obviously you primarily aren't, primarily known for comedy but yeah. then what came into your head to just you know i'm gonna go to a poetry event and try my my thing in po like poetry in there like well um well like i said i was in this mad relationship okay and then i went through a stage which usually happens about every two years where i go fuck this fuck mm. comedy i'm not doing it anymore okay. like i've got a very love hate relationship with stand-up and um so I was like, nope, I'm quitting. Don't want to do it. What, so why though? What what's what, what is it? Just the politics of the industry, and mm. I, I just get um, overworked, overwhelmed, and I just feel like fuck it. I don't don't want to do this, you know, because I love performing, but I don't like everything around it. So like, the, the you love the art form, mm. but the business. I don't like the biz. Yeah, but unfortunately, the biz is what it is. You, you know, it's I'm in it. Like I went yeah. to an industry party the other day and. It's, uh, I find it, it's really weird, like, because I'll get up on stage and perform in front of hundreds of thousands of people, whatever. Yeah. Not hundreds of thousands, I, I wish. <laughs> hundreds or Manifest maybe thousands. Manifest, yeah. manifest. Yeah, yeah, Soon. yeah. Soon um, come. And, uh, and that's absolutely fine. No nerves, all yeah. good. But walking into an industry party, I get so anxious. Um, very, very anxious, very overwhelmed. And, like, my agent's there, and it's all mm. like, oh, you need to meet this people. Let me introduce you to this person, this person. I just don't like it. And that side of it, I don't. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to be famous, you know what I mean? And I don't want to do these things, but there's certain things that you do have to do to get the job or to, to be seen and stuff. So that's what I don't really like about it. Um, and the loneliness of it and empty hotel rooms, travelling around, like... It's good and bad. So sometimes if, you know, stuff's going on in my personal life, that's when I snap and I'm like, fuck it, I don't want to, you know. Yeah. Especially because it's like, you've got to go up and say it should be funny and some days I don't feel very funny. 